Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to the Maid of Farewell Heights. Previously, we got off to our maid duties, where we found out we were cleaning rooms for weird ghosts. Can I interrupt something? Mr. Manager, were you talking with someone? I don't think so. Are you sure? I could have sworn I heard you and another person. See for yourself. I'm the only one here. Me and Sanan. But you don't see that. Now on to more pressing matters. Are you done cleaning up that room? Yeah, I am. And I ran into the ghost of a couple. Oh yes, them. You see, that room's been vacated ever since the tenants there committed suicide. In fact, to tell you the truth, the entirety of Farewell Heights is condemned. We're infested with monsters. What? I won't blame you if you start running. I'm not running. Darn. Why do you keep insisting that I run away? Could it be because... You have a crush on me? Oh, I get it now. You like me, so you're just trying to spook me to get me to come running into your arms. What? You know, I'm going to call someone with some real experience. You still need a bit more training to take on a job like this. Are you calling my boss, President Nibbles? Don't bother. All he hires are young women. Well, maybe this Nibbles fellow can march his own butt down here and help me. Go fetch him immediately. Dude, Nibbles is like, ancient. Probably was alive when the dinosaurs roamed the earth. Probably was. Marsha here is all you got. And I'm gonna finish the job. Now then, on to the next room. Smell you later. <sighs> Damn, Zanin, you ain't no subtle. Alright, time for the next room. Is anyone there? Even if you are, don't come out. Oh, gotta use that phrase next time, Marchy. Let's head on inside. Okay, this is a murder. Oh my god! What the heck happened here? But nothing I can't clean up! This looks like the scene of a murder! I should take a camera with a photo. Oh yeah, it's going up on the internet. Just taking a photo at the murder site. Check out that cool blood. What's this? Who's a shadowy figure in my photo? Oh, never mind. Just my thumb covering up the lens. Alright. Time to begin the investigation. But before that... Cosplay time. Detective Marshmallow. The great Detective Marshy is on the case. I actually know I should talk like this from now on. It's time like this where cosplay can come really in handy. You are the murderer. Alright, let's investigate this murder. There's a ghost there. On top of the table is empty beer bottle and glass. This guy sure drank a lot. He drank. Probably red wine. A bloody knife lies on the floor. This is it. No mistake about it. This has to be the murder weapon. These bedsheets are soaked with blood. The victim must have been sleeping here when he was attacked. It looks like the perp went for this dresser. A burglar, perhaps. Painting a realistic looking eyeball hung on this wall. Whoa, the dude has talent. Too bad this eyeball makes me feel like I'm being watched. Why does it just be paint? It's just an artist, ghost artist. Got paint everywhere. Paints with a knife for some reason. Ah, someone's calling me. Yes? Listen, I got a job to do. Oh, my dear Moshi. Oh, it's you again. 
Please don't speak to me that way. Oh, I'm so sorry, my master. Your wish is my command. <laughs> rip it, rip it. Ah, oh, did my affections turn this fair maiden into a frog? All right, enough games. What do you want? Kind of the middle of uh, working here. Come on after work. We go out to a nice steak dinner. Ha? Huh? No. Are you kidding me? Offer decline. Eh? Uh, why? You love steak, my dear Mashi. Excuse me, I love st steak. Steak. Eh, well, after seeing this crime scene, I'm not feeling steak at this moment. A, a crime scene? Oh no, my dear Mashi's gonna get killed. I think I go game him over. How foolish was I to let my Mashi waltz right into danger? Listen to me, you murderer. You can leave one hand of my dear Mashi. I'll cut you like a sheep. Jeez, settle down, Nibbles. I'm not gonna get killed. Oh right, I almost forgot. The manager here actually wanted to hire you personally for this job. Is that so? Well, I would handle him personally, but my hip's been acting up lately. Yeah, I thought so. No worries, Nibbles. I'll handle this job for you. Ah, oh, my dear Mashi. You are too kind. You know it. Bye-bye now. Eh, wait. Can I at least listen to your cute voice a bit long? Phew. Window pane has been shattered. The fragments from the window have fallen inside this room. The perp went into this room. Elementary, my dear Watson. A pup must have smashed the window, which is why the glass fell inside this room and not outside. Or maybe that's what they want us to think. Sniff, sniff. It reeks of alcohol. This room tenants must have been quite the drinker. Well, looks like there's paints up there, maybe? Hung on this wall is a self-portrait of a young man wearing a beret. Could this guy be this room's tenant? Yeah, he's a painter, see? Yeah, treat yourself to a drink. Hmm, should I? Nibbles always told me not to drink. Mm hmm, there's a canvas stand thingy here. Darn, what was the official term for this? Was it diesel? Or maybe an easel? Or could it be a weasel? Which of these sound correct? It's actually an easel. You know it's a weasel. Pop goes a weasel. Hey, I got it right. An easel is a slanted stand, and the painter uses it to display their canvas. I'm positive this tenant was the type of guy who loved painting. A pencil and eraser lies on the floor. A stack of papers. The desk is broken. Signs of a struggle. Now what's missing? The landscape painting is hung here. It looks like something out of a western film. So here's what happened. First he got the ketchup. Got out of bed to drink his ketchup because he drinks ketchup in the morning. He goes to drink it, and then finds out that someone's replaced his painting with a cat. And this theory doesn't make any sense, but it works. With this shock, he sprawls over, falls on his ketchup bottle. Nothing happens to him, but he gets ketchup all over the place. And there's glass. So he gets up, goes to the bathroom to wash his hands, comes back, and the room has been ransacked by that cat we saw earlier. I'm a very good detective. Phew! Guess I'm done investigating here. It's time for the great detective Marshy to give her a conclusion. So here's my answer. The evening of the murder, the victim, most likely the tenant, was drinking rather heavily. In a drunken state, he conked out on his bed and was fast asleep. Then the perp, our burglar, broke in through the window. The perp saw that the victim was asleep and helped himself to the contents inside the dresser. However, 
the victim had woken up, and the perp readied his knife to attack. The perp and the victim got into a struggle, to which the victim lost his life. The perp then exited the same way he came in, through the window. Well, guess that's what's happened, more or less. I may have a few points wrong. How about completely wrong? Who's there? I am a ghost. Uh, no! I've had it with ghosts! I see. I really am a ghost. <sighs> um, Mr. Ghost Guy, please don't be so sad. Take heart. I would, I don't have one. There's so much to live for. No, wait. You can't because you're dead. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> uh, so I'm really dead. I kicked the bucket. Okay, sell down there. You don't need to fear me at all. I'm not an evil spirit. I'm a friendly, happy spirit. Death is everything I ever wanted. You're happy to be dead? I'm ecstatic. This is a remarkable feat. For death has finished my painting. Painting? This entire crime scene is my piece de resistance. A piece de resistance? These bloodstains, none of it is real? <laughs> Maybe it is. My name is Artie. Oh, okay, Artie. An artist. I always want all my work to be as real as possible. So when it came to painting my own death, I had made up my mind. The thing is how I'm dead. It was a success. Even in death, my paintbrush has reawakened me. Huh? You're telling me you weren't stabbed to death by a burglar? There was no burglar. None at all. Then explain that window. A typhoon had knocked a sign into my window, for shattering it. Too bad it never got fixed. And that dresser? I'm just naturally a very messy person. That desk I properly left broken, and the knife adds to the atmosphere. Ah! This is all messing with my head! Oh, and if you please, do not touch anything here. This room is a work of art. Yes, the highest order of perfection. My greatest and final masterpiece. What? But, but what if I put this room back in order and erase that canvas? Wouldn't that bring you back to life? Yeah, yeah, that has to work. Oh, Marcia, you're such a genius. It brings, brings me far more joy as an artist to die and leave behind my masterpiece than to be alive without its existence. <laughs> How profoundly stupid. So am I done here? Can I move on now? Actually, I do have just one last thing I'd like you to do here. You see my drawing? It is a picture of a murderer. He is the killer I manufactured for myself. You painted your own killer? Yes. I want you to get rid of him. I would hate to see him hurt anyone else beside for me. Got it. I'm Marshy. I'll clean up that murderer's act. Leave it to me. Yep. Getting rid of this murderer shouldn't be too difficult of a task. Just kill him. He is, after all. Just a drawing. All you must simply do is erase him with a special type of eraser. Normal erasers won't work, as I use a special kind of ink in creating him. Why are you running from me? Stay back. I don't want any ghosts near me. Look, I'm not gonna do anything to you, okay? No way. This whole thing is fishy. Yag! Killian, even the toughest of stains. Y you're giving this to me? Yep. Now please, go on and remove the murderer from this world. Uh, okay. Vamanos, vamanos, go, go! All of us together are the great detective team, Marshy Marshmallow! Uh, that's the wrong way. Huh? He's over there. 
Get the canvas. Seriously? You mean to tell me he ran into here? Yep, that's right. Somewhere off there in the wastelands of that landscape painting. Are you prepared? I'm going to paint you into that painting. When this happens, the real you will warp into there. Well, even as a ghost, Artie, you sure can do all kinds of stuff. Maybe it's because I may not yet be a full-fledged ghost. Once I completely turn while you're still inside, it's likely I won't be able to bring you back to the real world. What? I'll be trapped in there forever? <laughs> That's why you should hurry. Calm down. I believe in you. You can do it, Marshmallow. Easy for you to say. So you're giving up now? Ah, just give me a minute to change. Huh? No peeping, mister. It's cosplay time. Cowgirl Marshmallow. Howdy, y'all. It's time for Cowgirl Marshy to make her appearance. You seem awfully giddy all of a sudden. Now then, ready for the final showdown. Oh god, my heart is pounding so fast. This is... inside the painting. Where are you, partner? Oh, how do we get to Saloon so fast? Wasteland Saloon? This painting doesn't make sense. And there's censored nudity over there. Why would a murderer come to a place like this? That guy behind the counter might be the bartender for this establishment. Maybe I can ask him some questions. Um, excuse me, sir. How may I help you? Gah! Did you come from the outside? Uh... Parts of your speech are censored, so it's hard to understand you, sir. Are you asking me if I came from the outside? I am the heroine of justice. Manly bad- I mean, Marshy. I actually came from the outside world to put an end to a killer. A killer? That's right. He was supposed to be in this world. Have you seen him? Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. <sighs> There's no way I can understand with all those censored. Oh yeah, that eraser I got from Artie. Erase, erase. Fourth wall break, fourth wall break. Damn, you have beautiful eyes, bartender. Oh my, I am beautiful once again. You'd really help me out, hun. Well, Mr. Bartender, I didn't expect you to look like that. What else is that in the corner? <laughs> oh, you. I cannot thank you enough, hun. Go ahead and ask this bartender anything. What's the meaning of life? So, uh, how did things get this way? I told you straight up, girlfriend. I don't know of any killer. Oh, but there's that vomit vandalizer. Been marking the entire shop of graffiti. Huh. Can this man be the murderer I'm looking for? Oh well. At least he didn't take my precious life. Do you know where that varmint ran off to? No, hun. Oh my. Are you thinking he's a killer? I didn't see where he took off to. So sorry. The other patrons may have some seen something, however. Poor them. They're all victims of vandalization. If you have the time, it'd be a huge help if you could clean them as well. Next to work, huh? Oh, please do. If you help them out, I can throw in a fabulous award. Leave it to me. Yeah, um... You have a sense of bar in your vision. They're not, they're not sunglasses. Well, I, I suppose that would block your UV rays. George the Ford. Graffiti be gone! Did you just say cock? Please can this have once?
Oh, you're like completely. Oh, sorry. Ooh, this was telling you the police say this at once, girly. What's a power outlet doing in a place like this? Wow. This place is modern. Um, excuse me just a moment, ma'am. They're gonna be like sharing like a... Nothing. You don't say. I swear the thought the two of you were making out. And the sensor bar is still there. Alright, let's fix this. Okay, this is not suggestive at all. Bungy. Grr. I'll never forgive you for drawing attention away from me, the cutest main character. I don't know what you said, but it pisses me off. Alright. Oh, boo. I feel so naked now. In your actual outfit. Maybe this girl deserves to, like, be censored. She's just gonna talk shit afterwards. I knew it! Hag. Hey, you over there! Big girly man! You have a face not even a mother could love. Why do you have to be so mean? I think this kid was far better off being censored. This horse... I wonder what on earth this is. No, it's a guy in a horse mask. Horse. What? It was a horse all along? There's a horse doing here. This is occupied. Looks like a kid scribbled this. Yeah, do the do the angles clean. There we go. All pretty now. Phew! Clean up all the vandalization. Thank you so very much. My shop is now as beautiful as I am. Now this is the part where you tell me more about this fabulous reward. The reward was a journey. Reward? What reward? Oh, that! Well, girlfriend, I'm gonna tell you something oh so spectacular. Oh, so spectacular. That vomit that vandalized my entire shop. Word has it, he's still here. He's hidden behind a wall. Maybe try going two steps left from the northeast wall. Be sure to search really thoroughly to find him. No! I wanted riches. When does the gold rush start? I never mentioned anything about money. Huh. I only said I'd throw in a fabulous reward. You liar. You told me you didn't know anything about a killer. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho There was no lie there. You play dirty, Barkeep. Your pretty face of yours hides an evil, rotten heart. Those are some cruel words you're slicking. Still, I can't find it in myself to think that the graffiti vomit is some kind of murderer. You can talk to him and see for yourself. Alright, Northeast. Hi. Are you the original artist? Hey, this part of the wall peels off. What the? Artie? <sighs> Guess you got me, huh? What? Why are you here, Artie? I am Artie, yes. But not the same Artie you know. I am another aspect of him. You may call me... Reverse Artie name. Atra. Atra? So if the killer is the Vandalizer, and the Vandalizer is Atra, then that means... He's the killer. Ugh, I don't get it. True. I am the graffiti artist who marked this saloon. But I am not a murderer. The real murderer is... Artie. Artie created me, Atra. Only to kill me afterwards. I didn't want to die at all. Sure, my graffiti are mere scribbles compared to his. But I... I still want to live. So I escaped into that landscape painting. 
This I do know. As long as I, an aspect of Artie, still lives, the true Artie cannot completely cross over to the afterlife. So, I admit my defeat. You found me. You are the victor. Erase me. Set me in place. Do as you like. What should I do? Whoops! I... I you know what? I, I was trying to save. Sorry, buddy. You're really going to burn me? Are you trying to cook me? Maybe you want to eat me. Chill out, man. I was just kidding. No, I wasn't. Poor guy. Let him be. You're not going to do anything. Woohoo! Thanks, heavens! <laughs> you know, I'm sure the true Artie would also understand your desire to live. Yes, I guess I should let him know what I want. I won't hide anymore. I'll return back to his world. You have my thanks. Don't sweat it, partner. And there we have it. Case closed. Hey, hey, hey. Hold it! How do I get back to the real world? Why not stay here, girlfriend? I could always use a waitress. Listen, buddy. No way. Anyone but her. You don't have me, after all, Mr. Bartender. <sighs> I guess I gotta seek out her employment. The Maid of Farewell Heights. We'll continue after this message is from our sponsors. Donate today. Phew. Don't know how I did it. But I made it back somehow. Huh? Mr. Manager isn't here. Oh, he's just around the corner. Is he in his office? Hmm. How do I feel right now? Uh, let's... It feels lonely without him. It does feel a bit... lonely. I do miss our little quarrels. He'll scare me off with, run away. And I'm ticked like, I won't run! Oh, Mr. Manager! Gah! Satan! Ack! No, you're just Edna. You're getting a little too cozy with my big brother, Missy. Big brother? You mean farewell? Then you're his sister! She's, uh... I can't claim to know her very well. She just has a brother sibling fetish. Don't pay attention to her. After the earthquake, she suddenly materialized. Starts saying she's my little sister, who was separated at birth. And that's the first I ever heard of having a sister. Plus, she looks like a demon. I agree. I can't see any resemblance. By the way, when I see you girls together, side by side, I think you two look closer to being siblings than me and her. Yeah, see? Devil, angel. Huh. Now that you mention it, we kind of do. Huh. <laughs> no, what am I saying? Why she looks nothing like this Scotty freak show. Oh, are you insinuating that I'd look like this flatty wrench? You really had to go and say that. Well, who wants a figure anyway? With those big boobs and with that giant butt. Oh, 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 oh. Do I detect a hint of jealousy there? Come on, you two. This is really stereotypical. Stop this sibling rivalry. We are... not sisters. Wow. Are you even finishing each other's sentences? Uh. GGGGG. <sighs> now what? You're staring holes into me. Listen, I get you hate me, but hold up. Ah, uh, no way. It couldn't be. Could it? I, I, I have to get going. I, I just remembered something. Uh, bye. Maybe we are siblings. Probably. And she's gone. Just like that. Maybe I'm Sanan. 
I'm sorry, I just have Satan on the mind. That girl is not from the human realm. She is from the world of demons. Demons? So they dwell in some kind of hell. I bet they smell, but I couldn't tell. Well, th that wouldn't be swell. Okay. Demon, demon, bo demon, banana, fan, and fo demon, fee, fee, fo meemon, demon. Are you okay? I'm making puns, you bastard. I nearly forgot what I was doing here. I'm not here to sell oil. I'm here to clean. Oh, I was a demon. Oh, apparently I was an oil seller. There's something definitely not right about that maid. 